What game is this? VJ Storm versus Fnatic. But this is the no E Fnatic. It's so weird. Dyer's middle tower isn't going to last long. Hmm. Curious to see how this guy plays tiny. Elimination game, really? This one? Not much good's happening to Oh really? Isn't it still group stages? Maybe it's group stage elimination, huh? Hmm. One one last map. Alright. Good shit. Oh it's already playoffs. Yeah, I haven't been following this tournament at all because it's so early for me whenever it starts. Like every time I wake up, uh, most of the games are already done. Like I catch like maybe like the last one or something. It looks like Dyer fortified their structures. Looks like this tiny stomped the shit out of mid. Whatever it was mid. Aquarian maybe? I f actually he didn't stomp mid, huh? Or... I don't know if it was Arc more than mid or Polymid mid because they both have mid items. This Polymid? Yeah, it's okay, so you beat Polymid pretty handily. 50% <coughs> more net worth than him. It's still being played at hotels now? No. Just ruined my sleep schedule? Nah, that's a big no for me, dog. Fucking Titan takes like no damage, what the fuck? Kill. Silence. Perfect. The time is at my place. It's 11:33 right now for me. Is that soda mineral water? That's carbonated water, sir. With a touch of oh, lemon. No. I don't like plain water. When I drink water, I always, need, I always need something. Like, not quite sugar, but you know, like some... Some fruity taste. <coughs> Fuck, I was watching Tiny, why am I on Pollen? Slurp juice. No slurp juice here, sir. This guy max stun on tiny. And his matchup mid was a problem. I'm trying to find out his reasoning, but I really can't see it. Hmm. There's a brewmaster, but that doesn't wild on the fucking stun first build. There's an axe? No. Can't burst an axe. Hmm. I think Bolt. It was Arc Warden? Was it Arc Warden? Someone said it was Polymid. But even if it's Arc Warden, you'd still go toss. It was Arc Warden mid and then they switch. Was it? Uh, I'm guessing it's just Polymid, dude. Oh, <laughs> that save. I like that. You <laughs> can't ulti off that, oh my god. Oh! Is this me- is this the meat on I know? What? Is this him? Oh fuck it is! What the fuck is he doing in this team? 
Radiant structures have been snow fortified. I had no idea it was him. I didn't know he was in the in a team. Right, time to watch his perspective. I played in a team with him at some point. I really liked him when I played with him. He was a very, very smart guy. Although he talked very stupid, but you could tell he was smart anyway. He, he just said a lot of dumb shit. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. He's been playing the best in this series. Oh, that's that's good stuff. Yeah, he just talks stupid, but he, he but he's not actually stupid. He's a good guy too. Well, that was a long time ago as well. Maybe like two years, three years. Ah, he found them, but it's a pawn, so he can't go on them. Mm. They're beating on Dyer's top tower. Are they winning this game? Um, it's kind of hard to say if they're winning this game or not. They're falling very slightly behind. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they're falling slightly behind. And they're also facing an Arc Warden. But they have a Spectre. Which is actually a decent heal for killing Arc Warden. But yeah, just losing that team fight now is just... Hmm. He yeah, has ulti really, but yeah, no, no kills. Kill. Tiny die too? Oh my god, what? How does Tiny ever die in that? You just saw like three of his teammates die and then he decides to go into or what? Top tower Spectre got nerfed. Uh, this hero gets nerfed like every patch or something, you know? But it's still Tiny Spectre. You ulti, away. you jump a guy with Manta plus a defusal, that guy usually dead. Awkward and just needs a plus one. Maybe Dyer's like a tiny jumping. Radiant's top tower deserves just as much help mm. as Bond. Radiant's top tower falling. Regeneration. Hello, Mr. Okay. Stranger. I don't think they're winning this game. Radiant structures are fortified. No. Yeah, I don't think they're winning this game. Radiant's middle this is where Tiny is peaks. Attack. You have both your nukes maxed out and you have a blink dagger plus your upgraded boots. But Radiant's middle tower could use some help. Yeah, it's hard to kill. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Barely anything is versatile right now. Maybe silencer? Let's get does he have three of me? He does have three of me. Like, what is that jump just now? You know, it makes no sense at all. You jump a hero that... You, not only you can't burst him, but he also does this. He ulties and then, you know, his HP doesn't matter anymore for like a tw good 20 seconds or whatever it is. Is it 18 seconds? 16 seconds. Hmm. Can he even burst Silencer? He can still burst the silencer, but he's gonna have to get a full combo off. Dyer's top tower is which under means attack. you need to be in perfect blink Radiant's range. Middle tower is under attack. Hmm. Buy, so. <sighs> Watch if this guy is tiny. Oh, he's not playing very good, sir. 
Meanwhile, our coordinates double the net worth almost of the next one. <laughs> of the second place on net worth. Like, what? What the fuck happened? Oh, it's this build, yeah. The Midas plus book one. They never go to book two or three. This is. Holy shit, that commit. Now they don't have spells. Yeah, it's a chance for Fnatic to go in, maybe. It's 3 versus 5, though. Does it have net quality? No. Ha! Ha! Slight comeback. Yeah, the power thread's tiny, too. I hate that shit. I fucking hate seeing power threats tiny. It doesn't help with your burst at all. Mega kill. The main reason I'd go power threats tiny would be for the mana when you thread switch. But but I I don't think it's worth it. Am I rooting for anyone in particular? Nah, not really. Maybe this guy? That's about it. It's me on the idiot. Nearly can hold hands. Oh, a bit too early maybe? Where's the pawn? Oh, okay, it wasn't too early. Couldn't find the pawn. Thanks, Mr. Daniel Crack for the two months. Nearly can hold hands. Yeah, that's the six months mark. You can hold hands. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Double kill. He's Pollum. His Pollum X call combos are brutal. I just wonder, like, what the fuck are they doing, you know? So, sure, like, the first guy gets ganked. It's always a smoke gang. You'd be like, ah. It was kind of hard to guess what, what they were doing because they were smoked. But what about the other two? Like, what the fuck is this like, garbage ass feed? It's so awful. This silencer gets bursted by Tiny. It's like the only one he can get. You know, this, this guy is too tanky. X too tanky. Pawdom too tanky. Boom ass too tanky. Silencer not too tanky. Share the blame. Nah, it's it's awful play, sir. Very likely what's happening is that they're probably arguing about something. Or maybe discussing something. And they're forgetting what's happening to them right now. And, you know, they're getting picked off one by one. Because it's not too weird to get... Dived behind your tier 2. <clears throat> when you when a guy just died here, it's it's not too crazy at all. I'm not paying attention to the game. Man, there's something wrong with my voice today. What have we here? Illusion. <laughs> it's very feedy. I did not watch the game before. No. I just got to my PC at 11.30ish. Oh. Oh. Do they have two sides? Oh, they do have two sides. What a miracle, really. But it's looking like shit. Still feed, yeah. Hmm. Do Pirate Threads Tiny really go for Echo Saber? 
top tower. Good day, sir. If you go power trash, I think you go shadow blade instead of echo saber too. Maybe middle tower shouldn't have to take this abuse. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Bambo does go power to tiny quite frequent. I don't know about that, dudes. I think the last ten games I saw him play tiny was all always uh, face boots. Radiance bottom tower is no more. Incoming. Regeneration. If it's a slow game, I think uh, Power Chest is way better. Here. Yeah, especially for slow games. Do it with flair. Thanks, Mr. Yugen K, for the sub gifts. <laughs> that was close to Spectre dying again like that. Oh, they scanned the Spectre out, and they thought there was more than one, so they didn't go up on that high ground. And no, no, they would have pretty much killed Spectre for free there, because his team is all the way here, and he still dies anyway. Call into arrow. Uh, that shit's been killing this team since the fucking beginning of the game. I think he's waiting for the silencer to show up, but I don't think the silencer is gonna show up here. No, they they sent back that. Oh, that shit is scary, dude. Yeah, I I never want to fight that tempest double. It shit is sometimes it just kills you. Like what farm does he have? A 15k net worth? Come on, you all near. 1k gold. Does he have items on this? No. Are those cracks in Dyer's <laughs> top tower? <laughs> Vent. <laughs> Surprisingly good fight for uh, Storm. Uh, it's like the first time they didn't get initiated on by the axe. Ooh! Cuts both ways. <laughs> Perfect. Do it with flair. Yeah. That was the first time they got a jump on the enemy for once. Got four kills out of it? Was it five or four kills? I think it was four. Yeah, this guy didn't die any I don't think he was even there. The Palm got soloed by Milan. I don't think he got soloed. He probably got low HP by some random things like Spectre all the other AoEs. And then Clock chased him down. It's EG versus FG next. What is FG? Someone better help Dyer's middle tower. I have no idea what FG is, sir. Forward gaming. I still don't know who forward gaming is, sir. <laughs> oh, the resolution stack. Okay. I still don't know who the resolution stack is. I don't know he still played. Seriously, last time I heard some resolution, he got. Either I kicked or left OG, and then I never heard of him again. Resolution Yawar Universe MSS SVG. Okay, that's a pretty decent team. <laughs> An AUI coach. <laughs> AUI. From all my teammates, I think he eats the oh, most. Yeah. yeah, 
Nej, that man can eat. Oh, Bila! Missed the air. Oh, uh, sorry, the hook. And the science has no safe whatsoever, too. He is tall as fuck. He's pretty tall, yeah. He's like 1 meter 85, 1 meter 88 or something like that. All my teammates in C9 were super tall. Like, are you kidding me? Fucking EE e was like 185 or something. AOI is like 185. Bone 7 is like 190. Like, what the fuck? The only normal size person was Pilot Dai. He's like 178 or something. They're like a team of giants. The thing about AOI, uh, not AOI, so he had normal posture. The, the EE and Bone 7 had really bad posture. They would, they would like hunch over like this. No, they, they will walk around like this all the time. It was really bad. Bone 7 fixed it a little bit eventually when he started exercising and stuff. That's good for him. I don't know about E. I haven't seen him in a long time. I'm 172 main. Cool and get you gone. Here they go again. Get initiated on. One guy dies, two more die afterwards somehow. Arrow? Oh, no arrow, but call. So cool on arrow there. How tall is Bambo and Gork? Bambo is a little bit shorter than me, like 170 so or something. I don't know how tall Gork is, like maybe 170... No, I think it's 179, he said. It sound, sounds about right, yeah. 178, 179. Radiant's top tower is under attack! The tallest is Muke. He's 196. Uh, that's... Like, I went to Japan with Muke. And holy shit, dude, he would actually bump his head against entrances of, of buildings and stuff. And for the hand railings, when he walks downstairs, he has to crouch over like Gollum just to hold on to them. Uh, it's just fucked up. He's tall as fuck. I think doors in most Asian countries are like 2 meters at most. <laughs> Here it's like 2 meter 50 now or something, 2 meter 30, I don't know. This axe is actually- oh my god. That combo almost looked good. Almost. But then he started hitting in that fucking dome without being in it. Yeah, it looked so good! And then nothing came out of it. Now, I was saying, this axe is completely dominating the game. This guy is... Radiant's top tower is under attack. He's been like, what? Almost every single initiate? There was there was like a few panda initiate, maybe like... One or two arc warden ones, where they count initiated. But otherwise, it was always the axe getting everyone. It's like, fucking destroying. You know, his problem is barely doing anything, really. He's a follow-up player right now, which is his job, too. And then the axe is finding every fucking jump in the world. Radiant's top tower is under attack! Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's top tower has looked better. Radiant's middle barracks have fallen. I don't know why they pick Necrofoss in this game. It doesn't seem good against most heroes. Maybe against Axe it's okay. Mm. But even then, like it's good against Axe in the lane, but now what Axe do, they just skip the Regeneration. They just skip the wave. So you don't even get to lane Radiant's against them. Nice. Still <laughs> I hate this hero. That turns me on. Thanks again, Mr. Yugen K. Bane Knight might should stop creep skipping. That only works if the axe is alone. And in this case, he probably wasn't, you know? Wait, what? Who was even... 
Was this fucking Axe 4? Oh shit, what? Oh my god, it's a, it's a 4 Axe! I was just looking, it's like, what the fuck, who, who was the 4 in this game otherwise? Yeah, okay, they, they just got destroyed by a position 4 Axe. I, I joined this game at like uh, six, 6 or 7 minutes in or so. So I missed the laning stage. Oh, no ward? Oh, there we go. It's too late. Or oh, nope! He has a 4 staff too. The angle for arrow? Did it hit? Yeah, it did. I wasn't sure if it hit a kid there or not. Yeah, that's GG. No buybacks on any of these kids. They could just throw them if they wanted to. But maybe they should play it safe. You know, you're not sure if they have buybacks or not. And take Radiant's another lane of Drax instead. Or? Yeah, they're gonna go for bottom. Mm -hmm. Radiant's bottom tower is 19k advantage. Arc Warden casualty being twice the network of the next Radiant Hero. Yeah, whatever, dude. Book one Midas. Tower is no more. That's normal. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. Radiant's bottom barracks have fallen. Oh, that's a four staff. <laughs> Not a use. DJ should be dropping here. Should be walking away here. I don't think Spectre made the right choice of who the fuck he was chasing. Because it definitely should have been the axe. It's okay, at least he'll get his 40 minute radiance soon. Soon. This is balance. <laughs> Coming in. Yeah, remember when Rapiers worked in Arc Warden? And then he would sit in Fountain and send in the illusion with BKB. Oh, sorry, not Rapier. Rapier. When he had a, like two rapiers on, on this guy, and he would just start hitting your towers through back door, and you would lose like that. Like, seriously, all your waves would be like here. It wouldn't fucking matter because you'd have like a, some random dominator keep in, in the trees here. You TP on it, and you walk in, and you hit the tower with your rapier and BKB and everything. And it would always be a 10 second BKB too. You'd win the fucking game by sitting in the fountain. So the one strat we had was we smoke into the enemy base into his fountain and try to kill him. And that didn't work because he's very strong. Yeah, those were... Uh, that's when Arc Warden kind of first came on in Dola 2. Those were good times. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what the next hero is gonna be. Not like this is much different though. This hero is just... I hate this hero. Look at him. He has like no proper HP item but it's 3k HP. What, what is this? Playable split. They got the silencer jump. And the arc warden is dead for 130 seconds with no buyback. Interesting, interesting. Does he have radiance in this fight? No, he does not. Oh! Oh, the combo! 
But does he get the pogo? I think the heart stopper. Oh. Yeah, he has to follow him around because the heart stopper might not reach. It's out of range. What's the range? It's nowhere near. He has blink. Doesn't blink. Who did they get instead? The X. A soldier's death. I didn't know hard stopper range was that low. 700. Huh. Oh, it's usually like, what, 900? Nice. Like special case. The prize is mine. Damn you. The nuke. So what happens with Necrofoss is that sometimes the nuke animation, if it's following you, it just kind of disappears. Because Dola 2, you know? I remember I saw the nuke here and I was like, ah, it's not gonna reach because, you know, he's just walking away from it because the movement speed is faster than the nuke. But then sometimes it just disappears from your screen, but it's still there. Yeah, it, it happens all the time, actually. But it's okay, because it's not like they're playing for money, so it doesn't really matter that much. It's like a PvE game, single player. In my time, they used to call these features. And you could pay for this. Radiance Middle Tower could use some help. How much gold was that? <laughs> oh, well, only 750. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It was only 750 gold. <laughs> Holy shit. Hmm, bad smoke. Both lanes are being pushed in. Yeah, they got, they're even pinging it out. Really bad smoke. I don't know what this plan was. Radiant's courier has been killed. They always go after the courier. Bane's net worth. Don't Google Bane's net worth, man. Health over up. avalanche damage. Yeah, I don't know, dudes. I've actually never seen the health talent being picked before in my life. Yes. <laughs> oh shit. Misclick maybe? Uh, expensive misclick, dude. 125 avalanche damage becomes 250 with uh, the combo. Very often 250 damage is all you need for another kill. Especially around that time of the game, you know, like level 15. No, 15 here they're playing around with 1400 HP, maybe 1500. Trying to pop the uh, what's it called? Aeon dick. But nah, what is it? 75 percent, 70 percent. He's playing the tiny like it's a uh, I don't know, not like a tiny at least. He's playing like it's an all attack hero, but it's not. Radiance top tower has fallen. Hmm. Dyer's bottom tower Ella. is under attack. Oh, oh, this is so good for him because now he gets to initiate on the other side of the map while two heroes are missing for fanatic, but there's no catch. They weren't ready for this. 
Uh, Milan was like the most ready one here, but even he couldn't catch anyone. That's minus minus spec out for 100 seconds still. Hmm. Thanks, Mr. Hellspawny, for the eight months. Daedalus next. Da, da, da. Thank you to Mr. Ito Pack. Illusion. See the wind percentage? I don't think the wind percentage is gonna be pretty because they're missing buildings. Actually, it is not bad at all. What? That's 31%. And they were so favored to win from the very beginning. You see this shit? What? What, what is it, like 25 or something? Sorry, 25 for finale? It's like 75, 25 here? What the fuck? Incoming. Spectre, huh? Yeah, Spectre. Alright, another siege coming in. So, Storm can't just sit back and hope for the best. They need to go in because they're gonna get slow siege by this otherwise. The double, the temp is double. Well, <laughs> that's, that's just quite sad, you know? That is just quite sad. I don't think they're getting shit, man. I don't think they're getting shit. I'm surprised this guy is still running with the Arc Warden. Eta Gege! God damn, Arc Warden. Arc Warden. Oh, 828 GPM? That's normal. <laughs> yeah, that's normal. Mm. Arc Warden by me? No, I don't want to play Arc Warden. Arc Warden's a really farm heavy hero. Like, you you kind of just chill for 40 minutes and then you get to play. I, uh, I don't want to do that shit. Sounds very boring, you know? Is this Karn? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> what the fuck? EG versus FG, what's my pick? I don't even know. I've never seen FG play before. I don't even know who's in EG anymore these days. I don't follow Podola at all. For the most part, it kind of bores me.
deep deep sleep actually. Yeah, probably. <laughs> and I know that his sleep schedule has been really shit lately. <laughs> it's the first time he beat uh, us in some game yesterday. What game? <laughs> we played some custom map and he literally destroyed us. Uh, Crumbling Island. Is he, he one so of those happy. nerds that, that spams it? <laughs> yeah. He was spamming Invoker all the time. <laughs> Why not go solo? Because I fucking hate solo Dota. <clears throat> I really hope the next patch, they focus on, on party games in Dota way more. It's a fucking team game. Why is solo queue like the main aspect of the game? You know, it makes no sense at all. Don't people fucking love Battle Cup? Why don't they do more shit like that? Completely nonsensical. Man, I remember when there was no solo queue. <laughs> Only like, you know, no MMR, no nothing. Just you either pl play alone or party. In 2012, it was so nice. I oh no, that was MMR, it was hidden. Uh, there were, uh, yeah, yeah, it was hidden. You need to see it from console. Though. Most of the people. That was rank were, one, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's when I played like fucking 16 hours a day. Yeah, but there it was rarely to see people ruining games. Yeah, exactly, right? People were so happy back then. They were just playing to play. Yep. Nowadays it's like, oh my god, I didn't get mid. I'm gonna run down mid and destroy items. Or you have a storm anti A in the same lane mid. <laughs> I think I calibrated 5.8 because, you know, back then people used to party queue so try and that was in the stack of Dement, you know? Hmm. You lose, you get suffering from it. It was so funny, actually. I swear, like 2011 to 2014, Dola was so much more fun, so much more positive too in people. That's nowadays, true. Nowadays, people, they're so eager to rage. It's like they're entitled to rage, you know? Like, huh? You didn't win your lane, so I'm gonna flame you for 40 minutes. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hi, we need plus one. Do you have any friends? Oh. Excellent, accepted. Isn't this but that fucking Huskar spammer? No, no, it's excellent. No, He's no. my friend, actually. He's competitive position 5. Hmm. Hey, guys. Hi. <laughs> We need to invite him to this group. Ah, uh, our son Drew. Alright. Uh, check the discords. Okay. Nah, as I was saying, like, people are... They like, destroy items now so easily too. Like, hmm. I think everything changed. Even like, <coughs> Valve itself changed in behaving and so on as well. Like, oh, I think they just know, care less. Back, yeah, like you remember Tire Tide, Grievel. So yeah, yeah they care really way nice. less. There's like less content updates and less quality updates. Thanks, Mr. Carol Kino, for the five months. Why am I spamming more? It's, it's an feels interesting feels hero. Blamed artifact that they're working on artifact. Let's see what happens. I wouldn't be surprised if it is like that, if, when they just divided the resources between Dola and Artifact, you know? And more people just work on Artifact now instead of Dola. Well, I'm fine with that for a while, but like, they really need to get the shit together. For you really think they're gonna go back to Dola? I think otherwise, you know, like, people will start investing time in that worker. I don't think they're yeah. gonna work on Dola again, dude. You like, never why, know, man. Why, why would a company work on a game forever? Like, there's no point. Well, I don't. I already gave it. Alright. I just missed Grievel, man. It was so Thanks, nice, Mr. Awid. And now, I think, think if they wanna make a custom map, they let some user do it, and they make a voting, and they go for it. And no more Valve people doing stuff. <laughs> I mean, that's what they're doing with tournaments now, isn't it? It's like all the Valve tournaments are disappearing too. Like outsourced to uh, all the random companies. Like the majors are no longer Valve tournaments. They're just uh, outsourced to big organizers. It's just really sad. I don't know if TI is even going to be done by Valve next year. It's going to be in Shanghai. Might be a Chinese yeah. company. I don't know. I hope after China made uh, TI, maybe they make it in the EU again. Would really be nice because, like, affording to go to 
USA or Canada is too much actually. Outsourcing is good for sure. It's good if it's good. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes you outsource your tournament to some organizer and they just, you know, do random bullshit. What is that one tournament in Philippines called? Yep. Uh, Galaxy something. Yep, they made drug test. No one went there. <laughs> No, it wasn't just that, it was just everything. It was so. Hmm. I don't know. Outsourcing is fine if the company behind them is doing good. But sometimes it's just. Hmm. Man, I just hope there's uh, something cool happening for Dota tournaments. I mean, did you see the openings for the LoL tournament? They were insanely cool. Like. Yeah, the like, music you know, videos, the, the opening of the tournament and everything, it was insane. It's like there's a lot of money and a lot of players, but like no control over stuff, you know. Overall. If you think about it now, you're a pro player. Imagine you're a pro player right now playing Dota, right? You're no one. That guy, no one. He all chat you and flame is the fuck out of you. <laughs> And no one gives a fuck, you just let him to mute. But if it's League of Legends, he gets banned. Bye bye for your career and everything. You know? They have nothing like this. If they do this, like, at least a bit for a while, I think there will be a lot of control for ranked games with that. I wouldn't mind a little bit of control in ranked games. Because imagine I play solo queue, I'm like uh, in really high ranked games, and I still get people who run split and feed and say, like, because this guy took my CS, so yeah. couldn't get bound to I get female like, Russians insane. a lot these days, too. They're so racist, too. Like, they really hate Chinese people, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and they don't even like random Russians, like top 100 players. It's, it's, it's like, huh. Very racist yeah, Russians. It's just normal in Dota. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, and the guy that was flaming sad for being Turkish, he was like, Oh my god, you fucking Turkish Stop subhuman, human. <laughs> kill yourself, yeah. Kill yeah. yourself, Turkish subhuman, is what he said. Top 100 player, by the way. Yeah, like there is literally no control of that. Like, I used to flame a lot back then, but then I reached a place where I got kicked a lot because of that. I think then... I flamed on when I was like, what, 13, 14? <laughs> uh, but the worst I said was like, I fuck your mother, though. <laughs> Yeah, I fucked a lot of mothers back then. Like, mm -hmm. look at this guy in our party.